What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I'm going to be doing kind of a throwback unboxing, um, and this is for kind of a curiosity that I just recently picked up, um, and it is the Netlink Internet Modem for the Sega Saturn. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, this was actually uh, one of the first uh, home console modems that you could get. Um, there was one before this for the Sega Genesis and also for the Super Nintendo called the X-Band, but that was actually a third-party product. Um, that was a third-party company who made this and ran all the centralized servers and all that. Um, this is actually based partly on that X-Band technology. Um, so this is, this is kind of the older sibling um, of the X-Band. But this one is actually put out, was actually put out by Sega. Um, so they more or less license that X-Band technology. Um, so this isn't the very first modem to come out for a home system. Um, but this was the first one that was actually like developed with, by the, uh, the company that put out the console. So it is pretty notable. Um, and this one actually had support for several games. Um, if you look around these days, it's actually kind of hard to find um, the Netlink version of games. Um, I think there are six or seven that support Netlink, um, but usually they have a special Netlink edition of the game. So in general, the games themselves usually don't support it, um, but there's like, for Sega Rally, there's a Netlink edition that supports um, Netlink usage. And basically this would let you, like it, you know, like it sounds, this will let you play games with other people over the internet, um, play Saturn games with other people. This lets you surf the internet uh, on your Sega Saturn. Um, there's also an optional uh, keyboard adapter, and they made a, a Sega Saturn keyboard that plugs in so you can, like, surf the internet and things like that. So um, it's actually pretty revolutionary when you think, you know, how long ago this came out. Uh, really before internet technology was, you know, in any home console or was really used for console gaming at all. Um, it had been used for PC gaming, I think, a little bit at this point, but mostly things like MUDs and stuff like that. Really nothing to the extent like playing something like Sega Rally online or, or a fighting game or anything like that. Um, I think the fighting game Virtual On supports Netlink as well, so... Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of, not a lot of games, but there were some that did support it. Um, it didn't quite, obviously the Saturn really itself didn't take off um, as much as Sega had hoped, so the Netlink service really didn't, um, you know, it, it wasn't like an amazing smash hit um, or anything like that. But it was used, and it, you know, a few games did come out for it, so I mean, it's it wasn't like a failure. Um, and... From people who'd used it in the past, it actually works really well, supposedly, um, for the technology and all that. Now, obviously, these days, um, you can actually use it because some of the games allow you to dial somebody else's Saturn directly, like with a phone number or whatnot. Um, the problem these days is that this was dependent on an analog phone line. And almost all signals that go over phone lines these days, this is 2015 when I'm doing this video, um, almost all phone lines are digital these days. Or at some point between um, point A and point B, the signal gets converted into digital, um, even if it starts out as being an analog signal, like what would come out of here. So that's mainly the problem is, um, A, you have to have a landline, B, um, it has to be able to support analog um, voice things, and C, um, the signal degrades as it gets converted back and forth from analog to digital, and so it makes it difficult for this to work these days. But in theory, this still can actually work. And there's some funny videos, if you look on YouTube, of people like during when um, the PlayStation Network was offline uh, in like 2011, 2012 for a couple months. People playing their Saturn Netlink and saying, you know, how silly it is that they can still get online on their Saturn but not on their PS3, which I, I thought was pretty funny. There's actually a, kind of a core group of people um, online who still try to uh, 
plug in their Saturns and play with each other and stuff. It's obviously a very small group, and it's hard to do, but um, there's, like, some internet forums and stuff like that. So I actually got this on eBay in the box. Uh, I think it's brand new, so I just wanted to kind of take a look here at the box itself. It's kind of got this cool, like, motherboard um, design on it. And this actually does go in the cartridge slot um, in the back of your Sega Saturn. Um, if you never had a Saturn, this is usually used as a backup RAM cart. Um, so you can, uh, it's kind of like a memory card slot. You can s swap uh, memory, or you can swap save games from a cartridge to your system's internal memory, uh, where it has to be for you to use it, and back and forth like that. Um, it's also used for things like Game Genie, um, the Action Replay, which is what is in mine, uh, lets you play imports and uh, ch use cheat codes and stuff. This actually looks like it maybe came from a store called R-Zone. I don't really know what that is, because there's like a one of those magnetic sticker things on it from R-Zone. So that's kind of funny uh, that that's still there. There's the UPC there. The box is a little beat up, but um, I really didn't get it. Um, for the box. So here is the back, which I'm sure has all kinds of funny um, marketing stuff on it. And you'll see that this is a high speed 28.8 um, kilobit per second modem. Um, so for those of you who don't know or weren't around uh, back then, um, 56.6 kilobits per second is the fastest uh, dial up modem that can exist. Um, there's other technologies like DSL and stuff like that that kind of uses similar um, lines, but for actually dialing up through a voice um, landline connection, 56.6 was always the maximum um, modem speed. But as you can see, it hadn't even gotten up that high yet uh, at this point in time. They were about half the speed that it would eventually uh, be able to get to with a uh, dial-up modem. So that's how old this is, you know, that not even 56.6 uh, kilobit modems existed quite yet. So that's when you know that it's pretty old. Um, so Netlink City is something that I actually didn't know about, and something I might um, try to Google. I don't know if you can see that screenshot, but it's like a sort of a, I guess like an uh, like a isometric MMO style city? I don't know. Or maybe it's just a website. It looks like it might just be like a web uh, address. I don't know. Um, but it offers some free dial-up stuff, optional parental controls, uh, fully supports HTML 2.0, and some HTML 3.0 extensions, which is kind of funny because HTML 5, you know, just came out not, I feel like not that long ago. Um, so that shows you how very slow it is for things like... Um, programming languages like HTML to kind of evolve over time. Um, so, email. Look at that awesome email there. <laughs> World Wide Web. You can go to Sega Online. So yeah, I just thought that was a really cool, uh, funny uh, kind of advertising there on the back. So let's take a look inside. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure this stuff is new. Uh, if it's not new, it at least has the box. So here is the inside. You can see it's all kind of packaged in this uh, cardboard here. So let me go ahead and see if I can just pull out this whole cardboard thing as kind of one, uh, one piece. Hold on. Or maybe it's meant to open on the other end. Maybe it's kind of hard to pull out. Let me see if I can open it on this end. No, it's the same. Uh, I guess you just have to. There you go. You just have to tug it real good. All right. So I'm going to pull it out of the box here. Let's see all this stuff in here. There you go. So box is empty. So what do we got in here? This does appear to be brand new in box. So we have a precautions guide with all the FCC stuff because it's a modem. So this is kind of like a fold out thing. Um, this is the Sega Saturn Netlink instruction manual. 
So it kind of like folds out, um, sort of like a poster, like that. It tells you how to connect to phone lines for your health, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. You get that. You get this quick start card, which is pretty cool. Um, establishing your Cocentric Network account. So I guess you had to come up, you had to sign up um, for an account with the people, I guess, who run the centralized servers for Netlink back in the day. Because it costs a certain amount of money. You had to pay per, like, week or um, per day or per month or something um, in order to access this service. It says you get a 30-day free unlimited connection trial. So I guess normally you'd pay like, you know, 10 or $20 a month or something um, for connectivity. So that, uh, <laughs> the X button is HTTP colon slash slash www dot. That's nice of them. So that's how to use the browser with your um, Model 1 Saturn controller. So here is the actual big manual by Planet Web. Um, and I won't show you everything in there, but you can kind of see, shows you there, uh, diagrams, it's got some, it's like glossy black and white. Um, so this tell, shows you what Netlink City looked like, um, which I might, <laughs> maybe I'll see if I can like find a video of Netlink City, just so I can see kind of what it looked like. Uh, glossary, blah, 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 Planet Web. Arc, Planet Oasis, Excite, Concentric Network Corp, and Sega all sort of collaborated on this. So, um, you get that. This is cool. You get a Nights into Dreams sampler, um, which I actually don't have. I have uh, Nights into Dreams, the full game. I have the Nights into Dreams Christmas sampler, um, but I don't have this one. So that's cool. That'll be a nice addition to my uh, collection here. Oop. Yeah, so I guess it's like one level from Knights or something like that. So yeah, that's really neat. That's nice that they included that. Although it's not, um, I don't think it's Netlink. It, this is definitely not Netlink capable, so I have no idea why they included this. That seems weird. Oh well. I'm not going to uh, be too hard on free games. So this is the Saturn Netlink Custom Web Browser. So you can see this one, this case is actually kind of, uh, it's got a crack in it, but that's okay. So you can see our Netlink Browser. So there's nothing inside, there's no like manual or anything, this is just a, like a one sheet um, cover there. Here is the custom web browser version 2 um, for the Saturn Netlink. So that's funny. I, I'll probably put that in my Saturn and see exactly sort of what it tries to do there. Um, obviously, you know, I don't have a landline here, so I won't be able to get any of this to work. But it'll be funny to put in the web browser at least and kind of see what it does. So that just comes in a regular drill case. So here is the meat of the packaging, the uh, product here. This right here is the Netlink itself. As you can see, it is matte black. It is kind of um, texturized plastic, kind of meant to, to blend in with the system when you plug it in. Um, it's like the same material that the actual Saturn system is. Um, this is for your telephone jack, and that's for your line. Um, so, basically, um, I believe this is probably works as also like as a pass-through, so you put your wall uh, into there, I think, and you can plug a telephone into there, so you can pass through it um, without taking up the uh, phone line, uh, but you can also plug in um, your the actual connection to the wall. Um, it's got some like stylized sort of notches right there. They're not vents, they're just um, kind of divoted plastic. And you got the same sort of, I think it's just for style, these stylized lines up there. Uh, oop, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. So it's got the regular um, 
cartridge pins for the Saturn right there. There's nothing on this side. There's nothing on the top. And that's where those jacks, those RJ11 jacks are there. And this is what it says on the back. So this is sort of like a um, slightly metallic sticker there. That's the MK80118. And this is kind of, these are like bumps. I don't know why this is, oh, probably just so you can grab it and pull it out. Um, kind of sticks to your finger a little bit there. Those are the notches so it can uh, fit in properly to the cartridge slot. It's actually got a little bit of heft to it. Um, you can definitely tell that there's something in there. Um, it's it's a lot heavier than a normal like memory card or something would be, um, especially this top part that kind of is raised up. Um, you can feel that that it's got some extra heft to it. Um, let's see. It comes with a complimentary uh, RJ11 telephone cable, telephone cord. So you would plug. Uh, this into here and plug this into the wall. That's how you would get connected. And that is all that's in there. So yeah, you've got the uh, the RJ11 cable. You have the actual net link. The web browser. This is the 2.0 version. I don't know if that matters at all. Um, Nights into Dreams complimentary sampler. Oh, I didn't show you this. This is actually a registration card um, from Sega. So obviously, uh, no point in mailing this in now. But uh, you could, uh, I don't know, you can look up the address, see what's there now, maybe. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So you get that, and then you get the quick start card, followed by the um, actual big thick manual itself um, that has all this stuff in it. Like most manuals these days, it looks to be only in English as well, FYI. And then you get the um, thank you for buying the Netlink, this kind of like warning warranty sort of uh, thing, guide. So yeah, that's what you get um, with the Saturn Net Link. Um, and once again, here is the packaging. So yeah, um, if you guys like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. Um, and if you guys like uh, video game unboxings, anime unboxings, movie unboxings, all that kind of stuff, go ahead and click subscribe down below, and that way you get notified whenever I come out with any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.